Good morning, Stuart Fleming again. Okay, this morning we're going to look at um, how to do some groovy uh, type expressions. Um, and um, to tell you the truth, I built this uh, a number of months ago and um, completely uh, forgot how to do it. But that's, of course, why I do this. I was able to um, look at some notes and re-engineer how I did this particular thing, and we'll go over it. So let's first of all look at our application module. Um, we have a department VO, and um, you can tell that it's actually showing the total salaries for the administration. The, these are our transient attributes that are based off of um, groovy expressions that we'll go over later. So um, I have a number of different things that hopefully will come in can handy someday. Um, so you can imagine that we might want to see total salaries, the count. Um, in some cases, oh, here's a good example. There is a count of, the, um, I believe, salaries. And there might be a null salary in there. So we also might want to count which ones are null and how many are null versus how many are not null. We have the average salary and the minimum salary. So then if we go over to um, the department link, um, here you can actually see that we have salary. And um, there is a blank salary there. So we have the total salary is 24,000, uh, 24, which I hope adds up. Um, we have five full and four, uh, well, five total and four without nulls, uh, the average salary and the minimum salary. And um, so that's helpful. And then over on the employee, I did a lot of um, department. This looks up the looks up what the um, department is. Um, I did an if then. If they have a good salary, then they're rich. If it's morning, then it's good morning. And you can tell that I did this in the morning. Um, there's a concatenation. Uh, there's a multiplication. I'm not sure what that is at this point. There is a get attribute property. Um, we will have to look at that later. And there is a groovy date, groovy date time string, a groovy date time date data type, a groovy date time simple date format, and a groovy array. So let's take a look at those, shall we? We'll just um, put this down. First of all, let's look at the department. Um, and this sometimes happens. You have to, let's see here. Why is that? I need to refresh it. There it goes. OK, so we'll look at the attributes. We have a total salary. And these are all transients, and you create a transient absolute attribute by just saying new attribute, putting the attribute name in, and then you'll get a kind of a new a new attribute on the field. So uh, we named it total salary on the view object. The type is a big decimal. Now it's always nice to have the same type of data type as the value that you are working on. So let's go over and take a look at the salary. The salary is a big, big decimal, so that's what we use on our Groovy uh, type. And um, some of the older versions of JDeveloper only use number, big decimal, integer, some of the newer ones. So you have to be careful when you're uh, looking at Java code that um, has the older uh, values. You might need to change it in the actual Java code. All right, so at any rate, total salary on cal uh, total sal on the VO. I'm going to press this pencil here. We have an expression down here, right? There is expression. And um, pressing the pencil will give us a little bit better. OK, so we have employees view dot sum. And now we do, hey, if it's null, pop a 0 in there. Otherwise, show a salary, OK? And that's very important, because if there was a null value, which we did see, it might bomb out. Now. This was the mystery, and it took me a little while to figure this out. Luckily, I had my notes before, and I was able to refer to it. Um, if you recall, there is a view link. There's also an association, and I put them in the util package. <coughs> Let's take a look at that. We have the view link information. We have the relationship. Now, down here, you have the source, and I'm not sure if you can see my carrot uh, my cursor but it says departments view and the destination is employees view which is of course 
what we you know, refer to as the child parent parent child relationship. So that's how we were able to ascertain the employee's view sum. We reach down to the employee view uh, view object through this foreign key uh, link view link, and we grab the salary. Now here again, we're going to look at the total employees view, and this one we're doing a count. In this case, we're doing count zero sum. In this case, we're just doing a simple count, okay? And you can see the difference. This one says, hey, if it's a zero, count it as a zero. And this one is a simple count. Um, this one is average salary nulls included. So in this case, and, and if you didn't do this, you'd have to decide whether it was appropriate or not. For example, let's go back to that. If we had a situation where there was a null salary, and I'm looking for a null salary, I know there's one in here, would it be appropriate to count it as zero, or would it be appropriate to count it as nothing, and not included at all? So that's what you have to determine. It's a business logic decision, usually for the business to make, but you have to be able to um, show that necessarily. Again, here we have the ma uh, men, we could easily do max, um, and I'm, well, the average is right here. So you have to consider whether you want to show nulls or not, whether you include them at all, or whether you include them as a zero. This is including them as a zero. Okay, so that that is the department's view. Let's take a look at the employee view object, and here we have uh, commission department ID you know, this is another thing that you could probably do. You could do a, and I don't think I did it, but you could easily do a salary and then commission percent and do a calculation of the salary and commission percent. I probably didn't be, do that because it was so apparently needed that I thought I'd try to do something else. But here you have a groovy string expression. Now this looks up, and let's look at this. If the department all you do is null, do null, otherwise show the department's view name. Okay, and probably not many instances where that's null, but this is a groovy if then else, and it's not visible here. I don't know why it's not showing, but if you press that, it does show up. Here, you see here, oh, there it goes. It is, I guess it's, I don't know what it's displaying the last field here but uh, okay so look let's say if salary equals null say destitute else if salary is less than three thousand we'll say poor otherwise rich and that will show up on our whoop, wrong one i need to restart this i'll get that running going and then okay so let's look at ampm all right so AM PM and here we're getting a calendar get instance get calendar AM PM okay here we are I'm gonna look up the um, destitute just bear with me parent please um, this person is rich you know what I think we're not showing we're not showing the app module let me just backtrack here my apologies we're going to show the employee view, view object by itself. Save that and then run. Okay, so now we'll be able to just look at the view object of the employee by itself, not in the relationship with the view object. Okay, so there we go. No, the department's view object, I should say. And here you can see that this person is making less than 3,000, so they are poor more rich ooh, no salary there they're destitute okay so you can see that all of those are available uh, my apologies for the, um, the going back and forth here but um, okay so next we're going to look at a groovy field concatenation that's very simple looks very java like uh, this is of course um, calculation here if the salary is null put trainee otherwise put the salary in um, this one goes at the 
value of the first name's label. Now that is referring to this field over here, label. Okay, so there is a way for you to actually extract the, um, where is that? Oh, field field concatenation multiplication get attribute so it is a, it is possible for you to extract the groovy um, um, attribute value um, from, from in groovy okay next we're going to go to a groovy date that is just adf.current date and here we have it is now and we have a string concatenation and showing the date time then we have adf gate date time which is just the date time and I guess we don't really need to have the second one since it's pretty much the same but it's there um, now we have date time again what's the difference here okay we might need to look at a uh, simple date format versus a uh, data type time date data type now where would that be let's see here is that UI hits oh look at that versus that Okay, there's the difference. So you can specify the format and get a different um, set of details from pretty much the same value in the expression. Okay, next, Groovy Array. I don't know why I put this on. I must have been uh, on a roll. But um, here you have a set of array values, and it's going to sort it. And if we take a look at that, Instead of having it 592343, three, three, we have down here 2569233. Looks like lottery card numbers or lottery numbers. Hopefully we'll win. Okay, and that is how to do groovy expressions. I know this was uh, pretty quick, but um, if you build something like this, you'll be able to refer to it pretty quickly. Uh, main thing to remember is when you are referring to other view objects you need to go through something and in that case you're going to go through the view link that describes the relationship between the departments and the employees and you're going to grab the destination or the source value uh, and use this to reference uh, right there reference the average salary for that department it is uh, simplistic in many regards um, and very simple to do, but it is complex and you need to have uh, a base like this um, so that you can refer back to it if you get lost or forget what to do, because there are a lot of little pieces to this. The main part, of course, is this that I totally forgot about until I started doing this video. So it's a good reminder for me. Um, nice talking to you and... Um, Hope this helped you out.